So let's get into this. We got an email from Eric. Hi, Neve and Cammie. My name is Eric. I'm 29 and I live in Buffalo, New York with my son. I'm a full-time dad, so I haven't been in any serious relationships for a while, but I have been talking to this girl named Liana for the past five months. She friended me out of the blue. She was really cute, so I messaged her and we started talking. She's super sexy, but mainly a really good listener. She actually cares about what's going on in my life. I honestly haven't had a connection like this in a while, so I was excited for it. I tried to meet her multiple times, but she stood me up every time. I suggested we video chat, but that hasn't happened either. Then her friend got involved, and it was really weird. This girl is making it impossible to get together or for me to move on. All right, I've texted Eric. It's the friend. Well, yeah, I mean, anytime a catfish has a friend that comes into the situation, you gotta be suspicious. I guess we have to find out. Oh, oh. Thing. hello. What's happening? How you doing, Eric? So we saw your email. Tell us more about Liana. Is that how she says it? Yes, it is. She's a hairstylist. She's 24. She's from New Hampshire, which matches her number because her number is a New Hampshire number. Does she live in New Hampshire or does she live in Buffalo? She lives in Buffalo. How did you meet? She added me on Facebook. I, I went right ahead and messaged her and she was gorgeous, so like, why not? She messaged me back and said, oh, I thought you were cute, sorry. So from there I knew I was in. Did you have mutual friends or anything? We had a few, like, like, like 12 or something. Do any of your friends actually know her? No, I've asked. Okay, so you did ask, okay. So you messaged her and then how, like, what, what, how did that go? Probably within a couple of days, I had her number. We started having phone calls. And it was a girl's voice. Yes, yes, it was a, it was a girl's voice for sure. Within about two weeks of talking to her, I wanted to meet up. The plan was for her to come over and then we were gonna go out to Delaware Park. So she had your address? Yes. And then, poof, just gone. After like two hours of waiting, she just blocked me. Hmm. But you guys did obviously start talking again. So how did she yeah. come back from that? Something about her mom. You know, her mom was sick. She needed to go over there and take care of that. She didn't know her mom was sick before she made plans to come over. Exactly. Right. So you guys start talking again. Was there another plan to meet up again? Yeah. And what happened this time? Um, you know, she's getting ready, da 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 da, we're good. I'm like, what's her ETA? And she's like 10 minutes and then boom. Her phone goes off and I don't hear from her for like a week. After the second time, I block Liana. So about a week goes by, I start messaging with this girl Maria online. She messages you first? No, it was me, I messaged her. How'd you find her? I just happened to see her as people I should know and I, I added it. Mm. She immediately brought up Liana and, 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 that, and that she can't talk to me because she knows Liana and she wouldn't do that to Liana. I mean, if she's friends with Liana, it would make sense that she might pop up on the people you may know. Yeah. So what happened after that? Maria said, okay, I'm coming to Buffalo. I'm gonna bring Liana to you. I unblocked Liana and we made plans. Maria was gonna drop her off at my house. The day comes, these girls are on their way and she says that Maria pulled over because she was fighting with her boyfriend. So Liana says, listen, I'm just gonna walk to you. I went inside and I looked both ways. I didn't see her anywhere. So I went back inside and then I, I didn't even call her and she didn't even call me. Wow. So please tell me you have not talked to her since. Um, she contacted me about a month ago and I kind of fell right back into it, to be honest. So let's see this girl. Can you plug your phone in and show us her profile? Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. hey, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my, could you give a warning before you show full of edge, please? Would be great. Sorry, bro. I see, steamy, okay. All right, so there she is, looking cute. You want me to just flip through them? Yeah, you can swipe. Yeah. Okay, cute. Yeah. Can you go back to your text messages and I just want to see how, how you guys interact with each other. Okay. This is the last time she said, I'm gonna come with Maria and we're gonna see you. What is a good time for us to visit? At four, we can do something. Okay, sounds good, see ya. Now that's five o'clock already. She's at an hour late. We are leaving in a few. She had to tell her man where she was going and took him home. I'm not flaking, I'm actually excited. I'll be there in like 25 minutes. Now it's 6.46, right down the street. I'm walking, I'm gonna hug you and wrap my legs around you and I'm not wearing underwear. Is this how she talks on the phone? No, you know what? She, she's not really like this on the phone. 
So you were like, where are you? She said, up the street. You should see me walking. You would have seen her coming down the street. Yeah. And then, then nothing. She just disappeared for the night. Unbelievable. She obviously was never there. That's how I feel. Send us her phone number, send us her Facebook page. All right, thank you guys. Let's uh, let's see what we got here, because I'm ready to crack this case wide open. So he sent me an email. Hey guys, this is all the info I have. All right, so Liana Bresca. Let's go to Liana's Facebook page and just take a look at it. All right, so there's not a lot on here that we can see. 2,000 friends. She's friends with a lot of guys. Like, there's so many guys. I mean, there's also, let's just check out Maria's Facebook page. So this is Liana's friend that Eric was also talking to. Okay, here's Maria. Because mm. this could be a fake page too. True. Right? She's friends with a lot of guys, and so is the Liana account. This guy, Danny, wrote mine with a heart, and then she wrote back always hearts. Set. Hey. hey! Hello! Eric. Let's go look through Liana's Facebook page. So, you know, we just sort of started going through the comments, and obviously it's mostly guys. Some of them are feel flirty. We also went to Maria's page, and it has a sort of similar vibe. Cute profile pictures, lots of comments from mostly guys. So we sent some messages to some of those guys, mm -hmm. just in the hopes that we might get to talk to some of them. And one of them got back to us, but he basically just said like, yeah, I've seen your show, what's up? And so I messaged him back asking if maybe he could talk, but obviously I haven't heard back yet. And so that's kind of where we left it. Wait, hold on a second. Time out, time out. I'm getting a phone call from Florida. Oh, not a good sign. Well, right off the bat. Hello? It's Daniel. Daniel. Off her Facebook. You go by Danny Brooklyn? Yes, I do. I, I do go by Danny Brooklyn. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey, oh. Daniel. We saw that you were friends with and had commented on some of Maria's Facebook posts and we're curious what you knew about her. Yeah, so she had added added me as a friend on Facebook. You know, we ended up starting to talk and we picked it off and it was like endless nights, uh, you know, seven, eight hours on the phone every day. So we eventually got to the point where we wanted to meet each other and we go ahead and meet up. Oh, I'm on my way. I'm five minutes away. I'll be there in two minutes and then everything's blocked. I was so, so excited to see this person. And out of the blue, this girl, Tracy, messaged me on Facebook stating that she was actually behind the profile of Maria. Tracy? Yeah. Not someone named Leanna? Nope. Who the hell is Tracy? Have you ever video chatted with Tracy? I mean, I've tried video chatting with Tracy, but she's never actually showed her face. You know, I really want to know, what, what do you get out of this? Like, why do you do this? Yeah. All right, well, look, Danny, thank you for sharing all this with us. If you could send us Tracy's profile so that we can reach out to her. Of course. I need to see what this girl looks like. If you need anything else from me, I'm here. All right, really appreciate it. Thanks, Danny. Hi, what a sweetheart. Let's see, hold on, maybe he texted me here. Oh yeah, you know what? Oh. He did text me. Oh, there we go. Uh, 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 uh. He wrote, I swear this was here last week. I think she deleted her profile. This is what comes up now. Wait, what? The Tracy profile is gone. What the f We still have a phone number we can reach her through. I mean, we know it's her, so we might as well just text the number you have for L Liana, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna send her another message now. All right, I texted her, let's see. Tracy? Oh yeah, cause she doesn't know that we know her name. Ooh. I mean, I don't, we don't even know if that's her name. Right. Uh, I'm shocked he wanted to meet me when I thought all he wanted was hookups. I'm not gonna play her game. Tell her need. All right, send. She has to read it to get to the link, right? Right, so if she reads it, then if he, either she starts typing or- Oh my God, she read it. Okay, she read it. Here she comes. 
Come on, come on. Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Ah, uh, hi. You're not the girl in the pictures, and you're not Caitlin. No. So you don't know a Caitlin? Because your phone number traces back to her. No. Then is your name Tracy? Yes. Is that your real name? Yes. And it's been you talking to Eric this whole time? Yes. I made the, the account, like at the beginning of the pandemic, I was bored. I wanted people to talk to. Which account are you referring to? See, the Leanne account was Eric, but I ended up switching to the Maria account because the Liana account got too many, too many requests. I was getting like 400 requests a day. And those are the only accounts that you have? Yes. It's rude. Well, look, obviously we don't really know anything about you. So can you just tell us a little bit about who you actually are? I am Stacy. I live in New Hampshire. I am actually 42 years old. Oh, I basically like help take care of my handicap uncle with my mother and stuff and my mom's sick too she's got Crohn's disease so I'm constantly helping them that is my life so I think I was trying to give myself a different life which was not obviously not reality and you're single you're not married or anything no children no I can't have children is that something that you want I want it all but I'll never get that why, Why do you say you that? Because I don't go out. I don't go out to even meet somebody, and I don't know, just I'm insecure. Why keep doing things to hurt him, like telling him you're going to meet up with him, and blowing him off, and then blocking him, and... Because I was being stupid, because I really did want to see him, but I, I couldn't see him as me. Look, we already talked to Danny, one of Maria's boyfriends. And Danny told us the same thing. Yes. I'm coming down the street. I'm five minutes away. I'm two minutes away. Why even bother with that if you know you're not going to show up? Mm. That is a game. That is 100% a game. You're actively making plans to see these guys in person and making it because seem like that's you are all on they your want. way. They want to see you. And then it's like, I wanted to keep them talking to me. So it's like, OK, I will come see you, you know? but you know it's not gonna actually happen. So what is the end goal? Like, what do you expect to get out of that? I was looking for somebody to be with, like have that connection and vibes. I'm sure you feel that way right now because it's all in front of you. But like, honestly, I don't know heads from tails of your stories, except for that it's all a lie. Okay. You told us you only had two profiles, but do you know how many other people you've been leading on these past few months? Mm -hmm. Well, what you could do is you could post on each of the profiles and say, this is who I am. I've been lying this entire time. Sorry, and I apologize. So that way you can apologize to everyone. I was just gonna act deactivate, but. You're putting yourself out there, but that's the point. You need to give everybody involved or affected by your lies the courtesy of the truth. And putting yourself in a position to, you know, reap what you sow and, and be accountable is part of building up your confidence. You want me to do it right now? Yeah, let's do it right now. Yeah. Let's just pull that bandaid off. want to make a change? All right. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'm in so, Maria. All right, you're on Maria now. Okay, so go to, the, go to her profile. Okay. And there we go. Right, posted that one. And now Liana's Facebook page. Come on, Tracy, you can do this, girl. I will no longer be using this again, perfect. Right. Okay, great. Yeah. How'd that feel? It felt good. All right, well, that's a good start. You know, I don't think you seem like a bad person. 
sure, you've made some bad decisions. I think most of us can say the same. I know I feel better knowing that you've done that on those pages. Obviously, I'm happy that Eric now knows the truth. And I, I'm hoping that you won't continue doing this sort of thing and you'll learn from this and grow. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Eric. Thank you. It wasn't all bad, you know? We had some good talks, you know, we had a little fun. I'm glad I could be there for you in whatever twisted way you needed. But, um, it wasn't okay to do though. I know. You've done the right thing. You did the right thing by coming here. You did the right thing by making those posts and being honest. And I think that this is gonna be a really freeing experience for you moving forward. And I'm, I'm happy for that. Thank you. Good luck, Tracy. Bye, thank you. Bye. Bye.